Hey everyone, Mad B here in another video of Text Talk and Shop. Um, this is one of my dogs, that's Layla. The other one's right here too. It's Brute. Uh, so this video is uh, my introductory video. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and how to we came to be in this position. <clears throat> um, so, I'm 30 years old. I have two dogs and uh, two cats uh, and a bunny. And I have three kids and I am married. I've been married for over a year now to my husband, Archie. Um, so, I decided, um, I don't know, I was around 26 when I decided to uh, go after the career I'm currently pursuing or am in and growing. Um, <clears throat> I, I just got frustrated with cars and I didn't like that. I didn't know how to work on them and I didn't know a damn thing about them. So I was working at a bakery in um, a local grocery store and um, I decided to apply to a community college which is an hour away and uh, so I did it and then it turned out that I could work full-time during the day which is pretty much the only way I could do it and then go to school at night full-time. So I'd work all day and then I would go home. No, I'd work all day and then I would go to school um, from like five to nine o'clock at night and then I'd drive back home an hour. And uh, I did that for like two years. I did, I went like four, four or five, four and the, it changed a little bit, but pretty much four to five days a week. So, <clears throat> uh, yes, it was, so it was obviously a college, um, and they had two year automotive program, but I had to also do like math and English and all that. So, um, I was able to complete, you know, the automotive program in two years, but it had been a while since I've actually been in school. So I had to take some like extra classes for the English and said math because it had been so long. <laughs> it was pretty weird going to school uh, uh, so much later on, but uh, I am glad I did it. I am. Um, it was uh, really hard though. It was extremely overwhelming and uh, I pretty much, you know, I, I, there was a couple times like I burned myself right out. I <clears throat> um, I remember one day I was working at, um, the Dodge dealership. Like I ended up doing like a, it was for school, like an internship. And then I got into that place. So I was working at the Dodge dealership, I moved from the grocery store there. And, uh, one day I went to lunch, eat lunch. And then uh, lunch came right back up not long afterwards. And I was like, all right. I, something's wrong. I was really tired and uh, overworked and I had to just go sleep for a few hours <laughs> and then I went to school. But anyways, that, that happened like a couple times where I just had to stop and sleep. <clears throat> just My body couldn't take it anymore. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> You're crazy. Um, so yeah, I did that for two years and then I uh then it took me a couple more years just to finish the prerequisites all that math and I would take like a psychology class um and it was really overwhelming but it was rewarding very rewarding uh you know I it's something that I really wanted to do and I went out and I friggin did it I just about killed myself but I did it <laughs> Um, 
now here I am. Um, I, so like I said, I've worked at Dodge dealership. I was on the alignment rack for uh, over two years. <clears throat> Mostly doing alignments, oil changes, tires. Um, I did do some suspension work and a little bit of brakes. Uh, did a tune up here and there, but not very much. So I wanted to do other stuff. I, like, I was mostly just doing alignments and I got really sick of it. So my boss didn't have any intention of moving me from there. So I started looking for uh, other positions at different garages and I found one at the Ford dealership in my small town, same town as the Dodge dealership and so I went there and when I went there uh, the goal has been to uh, work with and uh, learn from this electrical and drivability tech there who's been there for about 32 years or so and um, so that's what I was supposed to be doing. Uh, I've been here a year now and I've done a little bit, but I really think I need to work with him a lot more than I have been uh, because he wants to retire in like a couple years. And that's uh, big shoes to fill in a short amount of time. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes, I guess. I mean, I am treating, getting treated a lot better at that dealership. I've gotten more raises than I ever have at the Dodge dealership I was at. So, I mean, that's that itself is really nice. And uh, the boss, uh, he acts like he, he, well, so far it seems like he really cares for his employees, and that's fantastic. It's really nice uh, uh, to have, have people see what you do and, you know, uh, appreciate your work. And it's nice. It really is. It's a lot. And uh, see too much of that at the Dodge dealership. Um, <clears throat> um, I remember one time. When I was at the Dodge dealership, that uh, well, there was a service writer who would tell me I do a good job, and then I had a coworker that would tell me uh, I've done a good job and I've come a long way. But you would never hear anything good coming out from the boss. And it was, I mean, sometimes like I'd work over because. Uh, well, I didn't have to, but I did. I worked over sometimes, and he'd say thank you, but. Uh, I don't know. That was about it. He he was kind of hard to talk to, I guess. But anyways, I'm, I'm glad at where I'm at now. So that's cool. Uh, I'm happy there, pretty much. Uh, nowhere's perfect, so. Uh, yeah. I'm hoping that one day, I don't know if it'll happen, but it'd be really cool if I could get my own garage and, uh, be able to work for myself. Uh, it's kind of a goal for me and my husband. We've been we've been talking about it, and it'd be be really nice um, to be able to work for ourselves. My husband works at a mill, so he he's like a mill right, and he runs around and fixes um, all the machinery when it breaks down. Um, and uh, he helps with orders and stuff, but he, oh man, he works so hard. <laughs> he works so hard. Um, he gets up really early in the morning. Uh, so it's pretty hard on him, you know. I mean, I mean, it's hard on people in general when they work like uh, five to seven days a week. I mean, there's people that work every single day you know that's rough uh, like i don't know why do we have to work this much you know <laughs> we should be able to enjoy our lives sometimes a little more than just one week a year for vacation or however long you've been there 
Hey, babe. But yeah, that's pretty much how I got here right now. Um, <clears throat> hi, hi, butchers. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. And remember to um, like, comment, share, subscribe. All right, guys. See ya.